Welcome to our channel and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about unusual activity in Quantum Scape Corporation called QS. Today there was some big buying of the 13 June calls which expired this week within four days. So keep that in mind if you decide to get into this trade. We're going to dig into the bull case and the bear case and then we're going to show you my trade. First we'll cover the stock itself. Quantum Scape Corporation. The Nasdaq went up about a half a percentage and Quantum Scape went up 2.55 percent. The bull case here is stating in this article here the stock is a buy regardless of the hype because they're looking into the future of this company. And then they go down here further and state that these guys are building the next lithium batteries that's going to help all these electric vehicles out in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and place this article down below so you can review the whole article. And this is the bear case. The uh, article states why Quantum Scape stock pl plunged in May. Because the company has not reached commercialization yet. And it could take them more than a year to reach it. So this is a spec stock right now. It's not making any profits or anything until commercialization. Just keep that in mind. I want you to see both cases. The bull case and the bear case. Before you do any type of trading. Now let's look at my trade. I did this weekly option. It expires on the 10th of June this week. I bought the 13s and I sold the 14s. So I did a spread here. So the maximum I can lose... For this week is $173 if I don't do anything and the stock doesn't go up or anything it just closes out. I'll lose $173. Now if the stock jumps up the maximum I can pick up is $827. Now I will have to close out the position in order to get any profits from this position. When you open up call options you have to close them out before expiration date. And our expiration date is on the 10th of June. Now let's say, for instance, there's still $100 left on the table on Thursday on the spread. I'll just take my $100 bill, close out the position, and I'll only lost $73 in whatever the commission is. So that's how I do it. I try to do it at the 50% loss. If it drops below the 50% mark, I'll just close out the position. Now you see our other positions here, and I'm showing you the max profits and the max losses at each position. I appreciate everybody watching our video. Uh, keep in mind, this is a speculative stock right now. It's not making any money or paying any dividends. You guys take care of yourselves out there. Until next time, this is Sunny. I'm out.